Well, in Kentucky political headlines, another bill has been filed that would strip the governor's power. House Bill 469, filed by a Republican, would take away the authority of the governor to reorganize the Human Rights Commission. It follows other bills targeting the executive power to dismantle the Board of Education and to appoint a head of state transportation. Another bill would reform the governor's pardon powers. Drew, do these pieces of legislation suggest a power play in Frankfurt, or isn't that just what politics always is? Absolutely. I mean, this particular board, I don't know anything about it. I don't care about it. This is all about everything is a win and a loss. How can we hurt the other side when they're in control? It's what's wrong with politics. It's always been that way. It's not going to change. This is just the GOP trying to take power away from Bashir, and when it's the other way around, they do it too. It's an ongoing problem that we're probably going to deal with forever. And you don't see a solution to it No, either. not at all. That's how it works these days. Not even with the power sweater on? <laughs> they need a power sweater, yes. I'll let, I'll let them borrow it. <laughs> now on A Kentucky, in case you missed it, a review of recent headlines. The man who was first called out by Ashland native Ashley Judd has been dealt with a blow in court. Disgraced Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein was found guilty today on two of the five counts levied against him in a New York rape trial. In Frankfurt, Governor Bashir is calling for more social workers to help protect our children against abuse. He's proposing that the state add 350 more positions, and the founder of Kentucky's Ark Encounter has responded to a new documentary about the controversial attraction in Grant County. Ken Ham calls We Believe in Dinosaurs another hatchet job by the media. Up next on Hey Kentucky, three former cats have reunited to coach on the high school level. Mary Jo Perino takes us to Woodford County for a visit with girls coaches Eric Daniels, Antoine Barber, and Michaela S. when we return.